Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem right about now. We have x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared to be equal to 360. Okay, so let's bring everything to the left. We're going to have x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared minus 360 now equal to 0. Remember, we are bringing out only the real solution, right? Okay, so let's continue. Now, it will be very difficult for us to factorize this without breaking down any of the terms. It could be this or this. But then I want us to break this one down. So, see what I'm going to get. x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared minus open bracket. 360 is the same thing as 216 plus 144. And this is equal to 0. Now, I brought out this 216 and 144 because I can write both of them in index form, right? Okay, now let's continue. Here we have x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared minus 216 minus 144. I'm using the negative here to open the bracket and this is equal to 0. And this is the time, this is the point where we begin to rearrange. This is going to be x to the power of 3 minus 216. Okay, then I have 4x squared minus 144. This will be equal to 0. Now, what do I do? Break it down. Remember, 216 is 6 to the power of 3. So, we have x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3. Then, plus, here we have 4x squared minus 144. Minus 144, right? Okay, so this will be equal to 0. Okay, now there's something common to this two, and I want to factor it out, right? So x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 plus 4. 4 is a common factor. Then we have x squared minus 36, right? Which will be equal to 0. Now, this is what I want to do. We have x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 then plus 4 into this is okay let's take a step x squared minus 36 is 6 squared 2 and this is equal to 0 now let's apply some standard right now okay here we have x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared, right? And then if you have a squared minus b squared, this will be the same thing as a plus b into a minus b difference of two squares okay now for the first standard here i'm going to apply it here now okay so in place of a minus b i'm going to have x minus six so here i have x minus six close that and then in place of a squared i'm going to write x squared that will be in the second then a b becomes 6 times x and that will be plus 6x and then b squared becomes 6 squared right 
and that will be plus 6 uh, squared. Now close this and I move to the next which is 4 plus open bracket. Here we have x squared minus 6 squared. Let's apply this difference of two squares now. Our a becomes x. So I have x plus our b is 6. And then in the second we have x minus 6. Close the bracket. Okay, and remember that everything is equal to zero, right? Everything equals zero. And then from here, what can we observe? We have x minus 6 outside here, and we have it there too. So let's factor out x minus 6. x minus 6 is out as a factor. Here we have x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared which is 36 okay then plus here what we're going to have now will be this 4 times x that is 4x plus 4 times 6 that is 24 close the bracket because minus 6 x minus 6 is already outside and this will be equal to 0 right okay so from here let me deal with what I have in the second bracket. So x minus 6 here. Then in the other bracket, we have x squared plus this and this will give us 10x. Then plus 36 plus 24 will give us 60. And this will be equal to 0. Now, let's have a reminder that we are bringing out only the real solution, right? Okay, so from here now, let's apply zero product rule, and that says it is either x minus 6 is equal to 0, or x squared plus 10x plus 60 is equal to 0. Okay, and from here, x is equal to 0 plus 6. And meaning that um, this means that our x is actually equal to 6. And this is a real solution. x equals 6. Now, from this quadratic equation, let's check to know if we are going to have um, a real solution. We have, um, okay, let me do it here. We have x, plus, x squared plus 10x plus 60 equals 0. Now, for you to check whether you're going to have a real solution or not, pick out your discriminant. Okay. Now, and this is going to be equal to 4. Okay, it's actually b squared. b squared minus 4ac. Right? Now, this is what you have in the bracket in the square root for a quadratic general formula. So if this gives you negative, then you're not going to have a real solution. So let's go. The b is actually the square root of x. And um, b is actually the, the coefficient of x. And that is 10, right? So that means here we'll be having 10 squared. Then minus 4 multiplied by a is the coefficient of x squared. And that is 1 multiply by c which is the constant and it is 60 right now 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 1 times 60 that will give us um we have 0 we have 240 right but then if you subtract this you're going to have negative 140 and because we have this negative, we can't have a real solution again, because at the end of the day, we will have square root of negative 140 in our quadratic formula. Therefore, no real solution. So we reject this. The only real solution is x equals 6. Thank you for watching.